Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. So today I am here in Zion National Park in one of the beautiful valleys. And I wanted to talk to you all about heart health, metabolic syndrome, and Klinefelter syndrome. So all of that goes together with Klinefelter syndrome. Um, we are more susceptible to something called metabolic syndrome. I never knew what metabolic syndrome was until I actually Googled Klinefelter syndrome about three years ago. And even though I've been extremely active in my life, metabolic syndrome includes like type two diabetes, uh, high blood pressure, uh, heart disease, stroke, um, high cholesterol, and all of that is kind of under metabolic syndrome. And so I actually was in denial about my high cholesterol for about three years. I eat really good, I actively exercise, and my cholesterol was awful. And so my doctor finally said, hey, it's time to go on something. I've been on Crestor now 10 milligrams for a couple of years, and it's drastically improved my high cholesterol um, to pretty much normal levels. And so w with that, eating healthy, getting exercise, and really advocating and taking care of yourself is extremely important with this syndrome. Um, so I just want to let you guys all know that like, get out there and help your mental health. This is awesome for depression. This is awesome for anxiety. Um, and just push yourself. I know that a lot of us in the community that um, we have our community, a lot of us are very introverted, like to play video games. Depression is definitely the number one thing that keeps a lot of us home and like locked up and we're afraid to go out into society but something like this where you can come out here and practically be alone, you don't really have to be around anybody, is really, really cool, really, really fun, and really important for just mental health and heart health. So, so metabolic syndrome, Klinefelter syndrome, kind of go hand in hand. It's definitely a spectrum, so not everybody's gonna have the same symptoms that everybody else has, but I really wanna encourage all of you out there just to be active. All of the families out there with young kids, you know, start eat, try to eat a little bit healthier and get out and do exercises with your family, whether it's walking at the park, going for a bike ride, going on a hike like I'm doing today, going camping, whatever your choice is. And so I think I'll end it with that is what is your activity of choice? What do you guys enjoy doing? And maybe you guys can put it in the comments below and I'll make a video of me hiking or mountain biking, snowboarding in the future, um, some of the things I love to do. So I hope this helps. Um, it's just all about taking care of yourself and being your own self-advocate when it comes to having Klinefelter syndrome. Um, even if your doctor might no, not know very much information about this, you know, make sure you guys are getting your blood work done, um, taking care of yourself, and I'm pretty much out of words. So. We will talk to you all soon and uh, have a great day.